Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, this is Joel doing a video here. Um, I went to the, it's called the PHC Prairie Homebrewers Companion dot, I believe it's dot org or dot net, but I'm um, pretty sure it's dot org. But um, it's a homebrewing club here in this area and I took a couple liters of pumpkin ale there and had them judge it and, you know, for, t you know, see how it would do for judging and stuff and I got a 27 which is a range of good at the end of a 29 is when it goes to the next step so I was almost to the very good step um, and what they do is you can brew it's either four to five ales and then one lager and then you go to the next step of like brewing but um Tasting results, advanced in program. They gave me a yes. That was pretty cool. Then here's the score thing. They got the 27 down there. Then here's the different categories of the rankings. Outstandings like what, 45 to 50 or something. Then excellence, the. Excellent is 38 to 44, very good is 30 to 37, good is 21 to 29, fair is 14 to 20, problematic is 0 to 13, and I got the 27. And they wrote a bunch of comments down, so I'm just going to kind of read these, if I can read the writing, because, you know, it's kind of wet from all the different beers, the condensation, so, kind of smudged, but, sweet caramel, light, pumpkin, there's a pumpkin ale by the way, sweet caramel light pumpkin aroma and spice slash nutmeg, can't read what this is, um, maybe little to no head, um, I took it from a keg and put it straight into the bottle last night, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but my next one I'm going to be putting in bottles and take to there. If it's a you know high quality beer, otherwise if it's just like like a light beer, I'm gonna put it into the kegs. Dis dis uh, like peered or just you know dissolved quickly, the head I guess. Light to medium body, oxygenation, whatever you know I can't really pronounce that. Oxina, pretty much the oxygen um, in the taste um, could be from transfer. So, yeah, because that's from a keg. Um, little off balance with high bitterness, it says. Floaties from pumpkin slash spice, which another guy that drank it said that they shouldn't even said that because there was not really no floaties in the beer. Um, so, and then it should, should not be present as the floaties, which pretty much what that means is when you're taking it from the primary to secondary to the keg you shouldn't hit the bottom of the fermenter and get all the crud all the hops and all the cruddy stuff you shouldn't be transferring that from each to the secondary to the to the, the keg and stuff so so but I learned from this one it's my first one um, I've only been brewing well less than two months because in November like 27th would be two months exactly and I've already pretty much brewed I think seven to eight beers so this was probably my sixth or seventh beer here so my next meeting uh, next month is the second Wednesday of every month so the next one I'll be brewing I'll be taking in a brown ale and a extra pale ale so hopefully everybody will like that one. I'll be bottling those so it'll be good to go. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Um, next step is do another ale, do another ale, Just keep on doing it and I gotta do one lager to pass this category. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going up and once I pass this category I guess you get some kind of certificate saying you've passed as a like a a beginner brewer brewer 
says BHC Award of Brewing. Pretty much what it says right there. Anybody wants to check it out, go to um, Prairie Homebrewers Companions org. And you can also there was a Halloween party that they had a couple weeks ago. And I'm on video if you go to brewingtv.com towards the end or middle you might see me on there um, in that kind of the background guy videotaping this guest speaker and you can see me in my like gold works um, college shirt um, might be able to see that so I guess I'll talk to you guys later I'm gonna go get a homebrew and I don't know, watch some TV on my computer. I'll probably watch like Cheers or something. I usually watch that all night while I play it and then I just go to bed and play it pretty much all night on uh, either Justin.tv or I go to a site called Vetle. V E E T L E is a really good site. So I will talk to you guys later and uh, yeah, I don't know if I got anything in the. You're not. Anyways, the pumpkin ale was about a 6.05%, something like that. So, it's a pretty good uh, alcohol content in there. Added about 10 ounces of 10 ounces of extra sugar into the boil, so it gave gave it a little more of a kick. So, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Peace.